In an ongoing I-Team investigation, Fort Worth police have arrested a suspect in a pretty mysterious case involving mail theft at the Dallas Main Post Office. Ginger Allen has the new developments. It started at these drop boxes outside in this drive through area. On Friday, February 16th, Kim Pettigrew, who owns design stores in Dallas, had an employee drop off tens of thousands of dollars worth of business checks. The check should have been headed to Pettigrew's bank in New York. But by Monday, three days later, at least one of the checks appeared to be in Fort Worth, 45 miles away from the Dallas Post Office, where someone using this driver's license was trying to cash it at PLS Financial on McCart Avenue. PLS told us their attorney sent store surveillance video to the Fort Worth detectives, and police later told us they believe it was 23-year-old Shamia Frazier using her own ID. We repeatedly tried to visit and talk to Frazier, but she did not respond to our request. Now, the I-Team has learned Shamia Frazier has been arrested, and the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office confirms Frazier has been indicted on a state jail felony. However, not for mail theft. It's a fraud charge for use or possession of the stolen business check. There's been an arrest. Fort Worth Police and the District Attorney's Office have contacted you. But this is not enough, in your mind. Absolutely not. I believe that the police departments in Fort Worth have done everything they can, but beyond that, no one can, no one can say how she got the check. We're not addressing the problem. The problem starts at the United States Postal Service, and they refuse to get involved and call me back. The I-Team also reached out to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. A spokesperson says they can't comment because Fort Worth PD is the lead agency on this case. Fort Worth police told us the postal inspectors are not involved in their case. Grandmother sending checks, sending cash to their grandchildren. It's gift cards. It's not just companies that are impacted by this. And someone has to be accountable. And I feel the accountability needs to be at the United States Postal Service. That's our Ginger Allen reporting. And just so you know, Ginger also finally reached Shamia Frazier by phone. Happened on Wednesday this week. She told her that she found the check in her mailbox. She told Ginger that her name was on it. So she said, in her words, of course I tried to cash it. She said she will fight to protect her name. And in terms of security, Ginger also did reach out to the main post office asking, has there been any kind of change? They referred her directly to postal inspectors. Postal inspectors emailed us and they said this, quote, Project Safe Delivery, a national plan to crack down on mail theft. It talks about new law enforcement partnerships, talks about some new high security collection boxes nationwide, also increased rewards for thieves. So that's what their reply was. We'll be putting this on our website, just so you know. But the plan, just for technicality, was announced actually back in May of 2023. So it's been out there for quite a while.